Eggs Benedict is one of those classic dishes, classic breakfast dish, but it's not a, it's not a, certainly not an everyday breakfast dish. It's one of those ones where you have a bit of a decadent weekend breakfast, which is basically poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, served on a toasted buttered muffin. So with hollandaise, the oil is replaced by butter, but you still need that acidic base. So for that, into a pan, I'm going to pour some white wine vinegar. I'm going to add shallots. I'm just going to take a few white peppercorns. The short length of time that's required to reduce this is enough to change the flavour. You'll get the sweetness and the smell of the shallots coming out with the peppercorns. I've got a couple of yolks here. And then, it's time to add the butter. The main difference between this hollandaise and the classic one is in the classic hollandaise, you just pour melted butter. But here, I've made burn rosette. It's really delicious sort of hazelnut flavoured butter. The most important part of all is that poached egg. It's incredibly important to use a fresh egg. There, there it cracks. I'm just going to pop this onto this slotted spoon. The reason for that is as the egg gets older, over time the proteins start to break down. As they break down, the egg white then becomes less thick, becomes more runny. And you can't make a poached egg with a runny egg white. It's trial and error to kind of get a temperature where the water's hot enough to set the egg white quick enough, but not too hot, it starts bubbling and then the turbulence of the water chucks it all over the place. For me, the key to this dish is the actual poached egg itself. So no vinegar makes the white go leathery. If the water's not hot enough, the egg white will take too long to set. If it takes too long, what'll happen is it kind of gradually starts to dis dissipate through the pan. You end up with sort of spider of egg white. Add a little bit of lemon juice, just to finish off the poached egg. So that white is beautiful and soft. I'm going to add a couple of slices of bacon on the side, which isn't quite technically eggs benedict, but it is delicious. Finish off a little bit of pepper, a touch of salt, and the hollandaise over the top. Finish off with some parsley. That is one of the great dishes when you get the egg right.